makes up a small population in South Dakota, but this is the time of year when the Jewish community gathers to celebrate its faith. Tonight, an event was held in Sioux Falls as part of a worldwide Hanukkah observance, leading the group a new rabbi in South Dakota. He talked with Kelloland's Leland Steva about his vision for expanding the religion in the state. Leland? Brady, 27-year-old Mendel Aperowitz is in the process of moving to Sioux Falls to become the state's rabbi. When he does, he'll be the first one here since 1979. Once settled, he has a few ideas for reaching out to the entire Jewish community. Lighting a menorah, an important tradition for Hanukkah. Tonight, a six-foot-tall menorah shines bright in Sioux Falls. It's a symbol of the importance of religious principles. Each one could look at their neighbor and say, how could I add more light in your life? Now, there's a new man looking to shine the light of Judaism a little brighter in South Dakota. Rabbi Mendel Aperowitz says when he moves to South Dakota permanently, he won't be the traditional rabbi at one location. Instead, he will be spending a lot of his time traveling the state. Visiting people at their homes, um, building our relationships with them, and just doing Jewish things together. Um, you know, my goal ultimately is that there should not be a single Jew in South Dakota who feels lonely. Um, and if I could help with that, that will be the highest honor for me. Goals that are making a positive impact on the community. I was one of the people who actually asked him to come out here. And I'm very glad that he did. Stuart Jacobs works at the synagogue in Sioux Falls. He says they get around 40 people in attendance, some from Minnesota and Iowa. He believes this new leadership could expand those numbers. They come here, and most of these people I do not know. And with the rabbi here now, we will be able to bring more people in, hopefully, in the temple and grow the Jewish community here. At tonight's event, the rabbi joins with Mayor Mike Huther to talk about the religious diversity in Sioux Falls. Aperowitz is creating a Shabbat Jewish center in town to offer Jewish education, outreach, and social service programming. Right now, South Dakota is the only state in the country that doesn't have one. While it's exciting to be part of that major milestone, Aperowitz says there's work left to be done. It's really not about us as much as it is about the people who we hope to encounter and be able to, to live our lives with. A special holiday that the community hopes to share with more people in the future. According to the Jewish Virtual Library, the Jewish popula population makes up 0.2% of South Dakota's total population. There are currently just two active synagogues, one in Sioux Falls and another in Rapid City. Thanks, Leland.